two months of Israel-Hamas war and divisions at multilateral diplomacy. Hello and welcome. I am Jalani Tisfaye and this is News Analytica. It has been two months since the ongoing Israel-Hamas war erupted. The war began on October 7 and has resulted in considerable fatalities on both sides and a massive humanitarian crisis in Gaza. There have been multiple calls by world leaders for a ceasefire and humanitarian pause in the war in different multilateral platforms such as those in the United Nations. While several resolutions on the war were proposed at the UN Security Council and General Assembly, none of them have been successful due to divisions among member states. Today's news analysis will focus on this issue in detail. Stay with us. The current episode of the Israel-Hamas war erupts on October 7 after Hamas launched an attack on southern Israel, resulting in the death of around 1,400 Israelis and the kidnappings of more than 230 hostages. Israel has responded with daily bombardment and artillery assaults, including on the ground in Gaza, killing more than 16,000 people many of them children. Hospitals, schools, refugee camps, United Nations personnel and facilities have been attacked in due course of the war. Concerned by the disastrous effects of the war, there have been multiple calls by the international community. However, the war is accompanied by intense diplomatic clashes at multilateral platforms. As a result, there is no consensus as to what kind of political settlements could stop the war, whether it is a ceasefire, a cessation of hostilities or a humanitarian truce. While many countries advocate for a ceasefire, Israel's allies call for a pause. According to the UN, a ceasefire is a cessation of all acts of violence against the civilian population, while a humanitarian pause is a temporary cessation of hostilities purely for humanitarian purposes. A pause or truce is a temporary halt to fighting for a decided time frame. Looking at the speech of world leaders at the UN, 55% of countries called for a ceasefire in Gaza. Some of these include Argentina, Belgium, China, Guyana, Turkey, and Venezuela, among others. Another 23% of countries called for a humanitarian pause. These include Australia, Canada, Japan, the United States and the United Kingdom, among others. The remaining 22 nations did not speak on this issue at the UN. In addition to the divisions on the way out, votes on UN resolution related to the war over the past two months have underscored just how divisive the war has been for the world. The UN Security Council has voted on five resolutions throughout the war and failed to pass four due to the nation's indecision and disagreement. Out of the 15 members, Four voted against France, Japan, the UK, and the US. The first Russia laid draft on October 16, calling for an immediate ceasefire. The main criticism it faced was that the draft did not name or condemn Hamas. Brazil led the second draft on October 18. While it condemned Hamas and called for humanitarian pauses, garnering overwhelming votes in favor, the US vetoed the resolution. This was because the resolution did not mention Israel's right of self-defense, said U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield. Russia proposed another draft on October 25, calling for a humanitarian ceasefire and the release of captives held by Hamas. However, the resolution did not condemn Hamas. Only four members voted in favor. The UK said it wants the UNSC to work towards a balanced text and that the Russian draft failed to support Israel's right to self-defense. The U.S. also led a draft resolution on October 25, calling for a humanitarian pause and state of a ceasefire. Ten members voted in favor, but permanent members, Russia and China, vetoed the resolution. The UNSC finally adopted a multi-led resolution calling for humanitarian pauses and aid delivery to Gaza on November 15. The US, UK and Russia abstained with 12 nations voting in favor. Moreover, Jordan led a non-binding resolution at the UN General Assembly on October 27, calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, unhindered access to humanitarian aid in the besieged enclave, and for Israel to revoke its call for northern Gaza's evacuation. This resolution passed as 120 countries, including France, voted in favor. Only 14 nations, including the US and Israel, voted against it, while 45 countries abstained. Overall, there have been divisions and deepened diplomatic clashes at the multilateral institutions like the UN regarding the two-month-long Israel-Hamas war. This, in turn, challenges the search for united efforts to global peace and security problems. That is all for today. 
Make sure to join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.